Hello there folks and how is it going and welcome back to another video. Look at this absolute insanity we find ourselves standing in front of. It is quite possibly the most breathtaking scene I have ever seen in my entire life. It is magnificent to say the least. I can see why the waterfront, the water's edge is completely engulfed in photographers. It is an impressive sight to behold to say the least. Now we have these absolutely perfect reflections that are happening right now and it is stunning, like <laughs> stunning and I cannot believe it. We have some colour in the sky, we have some colour in the reflections, the sun is about to come up in probably maybe about 15 minutes or so and hopefully we can get some of that wonderful wonderful glow on those peaks that we all came here to enjoy. So fingers crossed, I've already taken a few pictures and uh, they're, they're wonderful and then when the sun has kind of come up a little bit I might try to find some compositions with some of these gnarly looking trees and just just all this wonderful driftwood and deadwood that's around here that we might be able to use to really kind of like punch the composition home but right now I am doing a very kind of like reflection up down reflection it, because it is absolutely stunning so let's Enjoy the nature, enjoy the peace. I will stop talking and let's get to shooting. Welcome friends to the ASMR Photography Studio and welcome to this absolutely glorious morning. Throughout the course of this video I'm going to use the words magnificent, spectacular, gorgeous, outstanding, probably way too much so please forgive me on that but really this place just left me speechless. The epicness of it all was just very overwhelming and just absolutely it was just incredible, really, really, really beautiful. This particular image that we're looking at right now, for me, I think is probably my favorite one of this morning shoot. The deep, deep blue hour we captured just before the sunrise was just outstanding. And the softness of it all was just so beautiful. And even capturing a few stars up in the sky as well was a real, real treat. <laughs> it was so, so great. I just, I can't get over how wonderful it was. And as the whole morning progressed, as you will see, it just got better and better and better and wow 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 uh, this picture for me is like one of my favorite images that I have ever captured in my life and it's and a real testament to why this area is just so so popular for photographers wonderful ducks just ambling into the frame across the lake and just <laughs> totally disrupting all of the reflections. It is marvelous to watch everybody react to it. Ah uh, god, this is spectacular nonetheless folks. It is like really 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 amazing. Such a beautiful beautiful scene and when the lake is calm and the reflections are gorgeous, perfect. I cannot get over it. It is Wonderful. So here's a very clear example of just how beautiful the morning was standing in awe at this epicness. The touch of light on Laos Cuernos was just, oh wow, it was just so, so gorgeous. Really, really beautiful. And the lingering color and the wisp of cloud in the sky really just brought this whole frame together. Now it is the exact same composition as the last time, it's probably maybe about 15 or 20 minutes in the difference, but wow, what a difference that passing of time has made to this frame. I'd be very curious to know which of the two you prefer, so do let me know uh, down below in the comments. I don't know, I think I still prefer the first or as much as I love this one, I think I still prefer that kind of deep blue hour kind of scene but overall I just am in awe at the fact that these pictures belong to me and are on my hard drive it's really 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 special Well, 
this is incredible just outstanding and we are getting this wonderful wonderful glow on the tops of the peaks here and it's just adding the cherry on top and I have found this composition it is a portrait orientation composition looking down at this lovely lovely driftwood or dead wood or whatever kind of wood it is <laughs> that leads us up into these magnificent mountains and this glorious reflection that is happening here let's hope the ducks don't swim across again but uh, for now it is pure pure magic everybody's having a really really great time and just enjoying this marvel of nature So here is that uh, portrait orientation composition that I was madly rambling about just a moment ago. <laughs> I really, really love this. The, the introduction of the deadwood in the foreground really helps anchor the frame and really helps draw us into the scene. And finding these kinds of anchors, if you will, to add weight and balance to your photography. It's always a good thing to try and seek out. For one, it adds a nice foreground element, and in this case, a really nice detailed, gnarly looking piece of dead wood or tree or whatever it is somebody let me know what it is please uh, but they also serve as wonderful leading lines that can take you into the frame and ultimately out to what you're pointing your camera at in this case these colossal mountains trying to find these anchor points is always a worthwhile endeavor as like i mentioned they just help add a really really nice balance to your frame and i am in love with this picture i'm so so happy with how it turned out i think it's i think it's really wonderful if i do say so myself Not lie folks this place is one of the most spectacular things I have ever seen in my entire life it is it's just magnificent and there's so much photographic opportunity here between all this gorgeous gorgeous uh, driftwood and dead wood you can use in your foreground that ultimately takes you into this majestic mountain range behind I did find a few other compositions that I will walk you through. There's just so many people here. Uh, I, I didn't want to do any talking to the camera just because uh, I'm shy. <laughs> but I managed to find another few compositions utilizing some of the uh, the dead wood and the driftwood uh, to hone in and add a nice frame and stuff. So we'll walk through that then uh, if they turn out okay. But for now, we are going to pretty much just kind of slowly amble back to the bus go have some breakfast and then chill and then we are going to come back out then later on this evening but it just it it's incredible just so so stunning <laughs> it's like a painting it's like yeah yeah you want to it's just so gorgeous i can't get over it it's just it's just magnificent. But let's pack up for now, head back to the bus and, uh, and enjoy some breakfast and some more uh, mega views. Okay, so these two pictures that I captured I was thrilled to have found these compositions. Now, if you Google Taurus del Paine and reflections or, or this particular location, you will see similar images like this because they're super popular. Finding frames uh, using the deadwood to kind of act as a frame around the mountains is, is just so, so great. And, and they're popular for a reason, but I get it because they are really, really beautiful. But I am super thrilled with how these two images turned out. And really for me, I, I really, Really, really like them and but I don't know they're a bit kind of like Instagrammy if that makes sense because they're kind of so done it kind of it kind of turns me off them a little bit but not so much that I'm like meh 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 but they're, they're, they're still so so beautiful and I'm thrilled that I was able to find these compositions and uh, and use the dead wood to frame these beautiful beautiful mountains a wonderful worthwhile endeavor if you do find yourself in a situation like this, to use the surrounding environment as a frame and as a anchoring point to your images. Wonderful, wonderful scenes. Mm. 
walk past me, it's gonna look super cool. Nice. Well, we are all fed and watered and looking forward to tonight's sunset. We are heading to a place, it's gonna be about maybe 40 minute to an hour's worth of a hike to where we're going, to the Mirador Cuernos, or the horns, uh, as I'm hopefully uh, being told correctly. But look at this absolutely magic view we have here behind us. <laughs> all day I've just been sitting, just thinking, this is incredible and rightly so because it is. So here's our bus and our absolutely awesome bus driver and we are gonna jump on board, gather the troops, head on over and then enjoy a beautiful, beautiful hike and then hopefully get some wonderful, wonderful pictures later on uh, this evening for our sunset. So let's get going. <laughs> Okay, so as awesome as that waterfall is and as like beautiful a setting that it is in, you unfortunately run into a bit of a situation where it's kind of like the viewing platform is in the wrong place. It's like it really needs to it really needs to be on the other side so you can then see all this absolute epicness beyond. You can find a frame but you unfortunately then run into a situation where it's like, and I don't blame them, people want to chill, they want to lean and, and enjoy the waterfall, but you get people in your frame then who are like chilling on the, on the fence or on the, 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 the guard or the wall or whatever, and it's kind of like, uh, hello? <laughs> so anyways, that's all, it's all good, it's all good. But unfortunately, you can get a nice picture, and it is, it's nice, it's a big gnarly waterfall in Patagonia, uh, but just from an aesthetic kind of photography standpoint, it unfortunately falls a bit short because you just, it's just, it's just unweighted because the left side of the frame is so heavy. I'll pop up an example and, uh, and hopefully it'll make a bit more sense for you now. So here's the image you can get from the viewing platform. Uh, now granted, I probably could have gone to the furthest corner of the viewing platform and <laughs> excluded the viewing platform. I'll be honest, I photoshopped the holy god out of this picture because there were so many people in the frame but I just wanted to use it as an example to kind of just to as I was rambling on just a moment ago just to show you for me the image is just unbalanced you're losing that right side of the mountains in the background and ultimately the waterfall in the front is too heavy and there's just too much and even cropping it as like a four by five or a one to one still you just don't you, that balance is just lost which is terribly unfortunate it's still a gorgeous place and absolutely do stop here and take photographs because it's beautiful in terms of like epic kind of Patagonia photography it doesn't really kind of uh, land uh, too heavy on the tarmac for me that was a random uh, analogy <laughs> <It's> <laughs> Hi. Hi. So I really hope that mad rambling made sense in what I was just saying. Classic ASMR photography lab style. Hashtag ASMR photography lab style. <laughs> but anyways, we shall move on. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous place. And please don't feel like I'm like, shoot up. But, <laughs> but we are now ultimately heading to another uh, lagoon front. To... <laughs> Look at this. I really really hope you can see it because it is it's just stunning and being this closer now to uh, the mountains where say we were earlier on this morning it, they like they loom holy god they loom and there is a wonderful bit of uh, fall color it's autumn color guys 
and look at it there and it's just starting to ever so slightly turn for us so you never know you never know but nonetheless this walk this hike we're on is outstanding gorgeous and uh, it's it's just so wonderful so we're going to push on we're going to get our way we've probably got about maybe 30 minutes or so and we are going to push on get ourselves there get ourselves set up and let's go <laughs> You got there and naturally found a uh, piece yeah. of driftwood right there. Nice. Perfectly found. <laughs> I, I was naturally found. Oh, well, naturally found, yeah. <laughs> it was just naturally found in a slightly different location. <laughs> so, this place is absolutely magnificent. The reflections are pure gold but the harsh reality of a place like this is it's busy for sure as you can see behind me but <laughs> these wandering pieces of driftwood that just find their way into your frame they're obviously placed there and rightly so it's gorgeous but you know <laughs> they're, they're there they just make their own way there I don't know how it happens but they just make their own way there I don't know so anyways it is absolutely wonderful and i really really hope i'm able to do this place some kind of justice because it is absolutely mega 16 mil is just not wide enough i've taken a few panels all that kind of fun stuff we're having a good laugh and everybody's having a marvelous time and there's some gorgeous light on the peaks of these cliffs here now as well on the quernos and um, they are reflecting so gorgeously in the water so we still have another maybe 20 minutes of shooting so let's continue on So this first image out of this set that you're going to see, I think quite possibly is one of my favorite images that I have ever photographed. I can't believe <laughs> that I got to stand here and do this. It was so perfect. Really, I, I, I sit and look at this photograph so often um, since having come home. And it's for me, like I say, it's, it's, it's really one of those images that will forever be ingrained in my mind as just perfection. I really, really love the balance of it with this beautiful piece of uh, dead wood that I found and hauled to the water's edge. For me, it adds just the perfect anchor to this frame. I love the gnarly branches as they weave into the reflection and it, for me, it's that slight imperfection of the reflection as well that just puts the cherry on top. All of this for me. Oh wow, I am in absolute love with this photograph. And I'm so, so, so thrilled and humbled at the idea again, like I mentioned, that there is an image like this sitting on my hard drive and now ultimately being shared out to the world. Ah, oh, wow, I am just, just so, so happy. It's, it's an incredible, an incredible feeling to sit and look at a picture that you took and one that you can be super proud of and one that you really, really enjoy. Ah, I am absolutely thrilled. After I had captured the one that you were just looking at, I just simply played around and trying to capture more of the reflections in the water, isolating one of the peaks and then trying a panorama, just using a different kind of wood for the foreground. I really just kind of played around and had such a great time. We all had such a good laugh. This particular evening was, was a really nice uh, experience for us all because it was a wonderful opportunity for us to um, get to know each other more and chat and, and, and like I say, just have a good laugh and uh, a really 
really it was such a wonderful wonderful evening and the hike out there of course was just magic but overall uh, i'm really in love with this set of images this particular location is just like gold mine of photography compositions and reflections obviously if the reflections work you'll see from the panorama uh, unfortunately there were no reflections when i took the panorama um but you know it adds a slight different kind of aesthetic to the overall frame but overall i am thrilled with how they all came together and the touch of light that caught up into the top was just so beautiful overall it was really really great and the hint of red uh, from the autumn colors as they started to turn on the face of the mountain really helped add this pop of vibrance and color to the overall frames uh, they could lend themselves quite nicely to a black and white frame as well but <laughs> i'm not gonna go down that rabbit hole uh let somebody else do that but um really i'm so so thrilled with how all of these pictures came together and again like i mentioned just so humbled at the opportunity to be able to stand there in such mighty surroundings So we are back at this beautiful, beautiful location here for another sunrise and I came up to the top. There's like two vantage points you can photograph this area in. One at the lakefront, which we've seen with the lovely reflections, and then one further up this hill, which gives you just a bit more of a vista kind of perspective. Now, unfortunately, no reflections or no real kind of real powerful light materialized for us but still really moody shots were had and it was still gorgeous um i think i think it would probably be more of a blue hour kind of mountain shot as far as i could gather from from what i was seeing on the back of the camera still so so beautiful um and it's such a wonderful morning oh wow so peaceful and um, it was not as busy as last time but it was still uh, still pretty busy but sure nonetheless it was still just as wonderful as well So obviously this video is probably, you know, primarily about the reflections of Torres del Paine and the mountains. Unfortunately this morning it was very overcast and very windy. But wow, <laughs> the colossal scale of the cloud, what it adds to the final images is just spectacular. Really, really, really love this image. This is a panoramic image. And then as I mentioned, I didn't do too much kind of talking to the camera uh, while we were there. It was a lot more quieter uh, that particular morning and uh, Andy Mumford was around and I didn't want to embarrass myself by talking to the camera and be like, he'd be thinking, who's this guy? But um, it was a really, really good morning and I, and I did say hello to Andy Mumford which was wonderful so hello Andy again and for me the aesthetic of the kind of deep blue and the clouds as they like tower off the mountains is just so so gorgeous and and, and again even though you might look out the window and think it oh we're not oh, we're not going to catch any color in the sky or anything like that it's still so worth getting up and getting on the bus and getting yourself there uh, to see this morning unfold because it was really really something special and uh, something kind of different and, and one that I am really really glad to have been a part of and it was it was such a special morning and yeah it was just so so beautiful so so beautiful in the end but we are going to make our way back to the to the bus and head have some breakfast chill for a bit and then organize ourselves to head on out then this evening but i am going to leave this particular video here uh, because i forgot to do an outro for it yesterday so i thought i would include this because i didn't do any kind of talking to the camera uh beforehand so um if you like the video folks absolutely do give it a like and if you do fancy following along for more adventures then by all means do hit that subscribe button and i will see you on the next one take it easy everybody cheers mm -hmm.